How to create a landing page on Webflow. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about our tutorial on how to create a landing page using Webflow. If you're looking to design a professional and captivating landing page without the need for coding, Webflow is the perfect tool for you. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the process of creating a stunning landing page using Webflow's intuitive visual editor. Webflows is a powerful website builder that offers a wide range of design and customization options, making it ideal for creating engaging and conversion-focused landing pages. Webflows drag-and-drop editor allows you to easily add and arrange elements on your landing page, such as headings, image, buttons, and forms. You can customize each element's appearance, position, and behavior to match your branding and desired layout. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to have to do of course is go to webflow.com. In webflow.com, you will be able to see different information about Webflow if you are interested in what Webflow is about. You could see their products in this section, their solution, their resources, enterprise, and pricing over here. We're going to check out the pricing later on if you're willing to invest in using Webflow in future projects or if you would like to develop your website even more. But as you can see here, what we're going to do is just simply going to click on get started it's free over here on the top right or this start building over here in the middle so we're simply going to click this and then you're simply going to enter your work email over here and then you will be able to sign up for webflow and now after signing up or logging in into your account this is where you will find yourself this is the dashboard of webflow and this is where you will be able to see the different website that you are going to create or website that you have created now, if you would like to edit your websites, for example, this one, you can simply click on this section over here and you will be able to open this specific website into another tab and you will be able to use the editor of Webflow. But if you would like to edit some settings about a specific website, you can simply click on the three dots over here, which would allow you to either delete, duplicate, move to folder, share, editor, or click on settings over here. But for us now, we're going to delete this one because we're going to be creating another website. Now, keep in mind, if you're using a free version, you will be able to only create two websites such as here. So that's why we're going to be deleting one so that we could create another one just for today's video. Now, to be able to create a new website, you're simply going to click on new site over here on the right side. By clicking this, you will be redirected to another page where we will be able to start creating our new website or a landing page now as you can see here we have several options you have a blank option over here a blank template as you can see here you have the portfolio starter business starter or store starter over here or you can simply start from scratch by selecting the blank side over here there are also templates available for you to use in webflow as you can see here now a lot of different templates are paid in webflow as you can see the zane or the portfolio template over here it's going to cost you $79 and more templates are available in the paid section there are more available templates if you paid for them and each and every template has a different pricing some has similar pricing as you can see here these three templates that we are seeing right now has $79 as, as its pricing but there are a lot of different templates that you could choose from as you can see here in this section you could choose them between different categories. As you can see, there are design, business, technology, and all of these different categories that you could use. You could use Webflow to create you other types of websites, not just landing page. And you could choose through the categories, language, styles, features over here to enhance your user experience. And depending on what type of website you are trying to create, you could look through the different template categories over here to be able to filter out exactly what you need for example over here the air conditioning or this template over here is exactly for small businesses you could use this template for small businesses which will cost you 129 dollars now there are free templates which we are going to check out today there are free templates that we will be able to use and we will be using for today's video which are this following templates over here below we're simply going to scroll down over here. These are the free templates that we have. We have Moxum, Flux, HireUp, MemberBase, and we can view them all over here by clicking this. 
we will be able to see all the different free websites available for us. And just like earlier, you could filter them out by the following options over here. Now for us, we're simply going to select a random template. It is completely up to you what template you use, but you could use the template available over here to help you design your landing page. For example, this one over here, I really like the style of this page, so we're going to use this template over here. We're simply going to click this, use for free, and then we will be able to start editing this specific template for us to customize and turn it into a landing page. Simply click on create site after naming your site over here whatever name you would like to use it is completely up to you and as you can see it is making it right now and as you can see here this is our editor over here this is our website this is our template over here on the top you could see different point of view of your website over here you have a desktop version a laptop version a tablet version you could also uh, make this smaller or, or thinner just like this there's also a landscape version for a mobile phone. You could also extend this or retract this, just like this. And a mobile phone over here, a different point of view for your mobile, as you can see here. So that you will be able to monitor and see what it would look like on the different platform or different gadgets available in the market. So how do you create your own landing page? Now to be able to create a landing page, of course, you're going to have to edit your elements. And then you could add the different elements that make up a landing page for example like the email section or the submit button any stuff like that being able to do that is very easy with webflow as you can see here when i hover through the different elements on our screen you will be able to see a square on a specific element for example this one over here when i click this or double click this i will be able to see settings as you can see here i could replace the image i could move it around i could see more information over here on the right side there are a lot of information, so take your time and explore them uh, thoroughly so that you will be able to fully understand what each setting would mean on your website over here. Now, if you would like to delete this, we can simply click on right click and you could simply click on delete over here, which would delete a specific image. And for example, this one, our text box, we could move it around, put it on our right side over here. You could move things around very easily. You can simply click and drag just like this and then you will be able to move them around and then you could move wherever you would like it to be located in over here on the right side and it's completely up to you on how you would like this to be presented you could also see your padding over here sizing position and all of those information that we are seeing right now you could edit the position over here on the right side if you want it's depend completely depends on you you could put it back in the hero grid over here depending on where you would like it to be located now, if you would like to add elements, you could simply go here on the left side and click on this button, which would allow you to add elements. You have different sections, containers, grid, columns over here, which are layouts, which would help you a lot when creating a section on your page. For example, we would like to add like this element over here. Right now, section elements cannot be nested together, but let's see if we will be able to add our layout over here. It's not allowing us to add a uh, layout, maybe because there's a lot of elements in our screen right now. So we're going to move on. We have your basics over here, like div block, list, list item, your button over here, which is very important. A link block, if you would like to have a section on your page where it, if they click that section, they will be redirected. You also have your typography over here, your heading, paragraph, your text link, text block block quotes over here you could decorate your landing page with whatever you would like and add information add elements to be able to populate your website so that it could be appealing for your different users there's also cms users over here like log in or log out from their account you have your different media image video youtube lot the animation over here your different forms like the form block label input file upload text area checkbox read your button select recaptcha and forms over here this is a very important section or a very important category for creating your landing page so this is what you're going to be using you also have your advanced options over here there are a lot of options like search background video drop lightbox nav bar slider tabs maps facebook and twitter over here if you would like to use your socials you can also click on layouts over here very similar to what we saw earlier it will allow you to have a starter 
library you could also browse libraries over here which would allow you to build your website even more properly now after creating your website you can simply click over here on the top right which would allow you to publish and over here you can simply publish it with the webflow domain over here or if you have your own domain you can simply add them over here and simply click on publish and you will be able to start publishing it as you can see here it's going to start its process and just like that and simply share the link over here as you can see you can simply share your link to other people and the pricings are the following over here you have your free your basic which is $14 per month $23 per month for the CMS $39 per month for the business and that is for the yearly for the monthly version you have 18 29 and 49 options over here for the enterprise version you're going to have to contact webflow for more information and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching